well. Zero. Yes. Podcast time. Indeed. <laughs> that's a, that's an intro. Uh, so before we go further with this, there's probably going to be some technical difficulties. Uh, David is a technical. Yeah, difficulty. David. Uh, so we're recording this through Discord. David's not with us. Uh, but I am with you. In- but we'll we'll do we'll do our best. So. Uh, yeah, uh, we have some topics to talk about, like always. Oh, I guess we should introduce ourselves. Do we need to do that again? We've done that the past twice. Well, what is that? I'm, David. <laughs> I'm Logan. I'm also Logan. And we're a podcast. We are indeed just that. Nothing else. Uh, nothing else. Not a band. Not a, we're not even friends. We're, we're not even people. We're yeah, just a podcast. We're not even real. <laughs> we don't even exist. So, a lot of shit's been happening recently. Uh, and I think one of the first things that. I think it's just really funny. Uh, GameStop lost its business license. Well, they kind of deserve it, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. But that's just the fattest L. We're essential. We promise. We need to stay open. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, man. I'm a gamer. I need my games during the, the virus outbreak. Yeah, people need Doom Eternal, bro. Are they going to... They're gonna go mad. Doom not over the Animal Crossing. Yeah. They're they're gonna go mad over the games, not the fucking pandemic that's happening right now. Of course not. I mean, I'd rather have people be inside playing Doom and Animal Crossing. To be fair. Yeah. Rather than partying on the <laughs> beaches of Miami and Hawaii right now. Nah, dude, that's where it's at. <laughs> have you seen those videos? Yeah. It's just like, I don't give a fuck about the coronavirus. I haven't even seen anything. I can't. What are you about? I can't see the virus. It doesn't exist. It's like John Cena. It's just not there. Oh, but of course. Oh, nice fresh hop shirt, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, nice fresh hop shirt. Shout out to Fresh Hops. I love those guys. Fresh Hops is pretty damn good. They're pretty, pretty fucking great. They're pretty fresh, and they got a lot of hops. They, they do indeed. So, boys, this may sound a little ridiculous considering that there is a pandemic, but we just came back from a concert. We did do that. Kind of. Oh, yeah, we did. It was a good concert. Uh, it's pretty great, yeah. Our our homies Fuzz Love did a virtual concert on Facebook and on Instagram. Yeah, they jammed out. Shredded very hard. Played a lot of new material. A little taste of things to come. I can't wait until their new album. It'll be fantastic. I just recently bought their uh, bundle merchandise. I know the thirty-five dollars will help them during these. Very strange yeah, times. Right now. You know, local musicians are struggling right now. They can't get any gigs. Everything's closed, so it really helps them out. Logan donated his last four dollars to them tonight. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, I had four dollars in my account. Now I have like thirty-nine cents. <laughs> yeah, it's like ticket admission. It's like a cover fee. <laughs> Five bucks. You're a cover fee, bitch. Ooh, damn, son. <laughs> Sounds like you're driving through a fucking <laughs> wind tunnel, David. Yeah, David, can you move your mic away from your uh, breathing apparatus? Oh, what? Your your breathing utensils. My breathing apparatus. Yeah. Am I, am I breathing too much? Yeah. Quit. Quit. Oh, okay. Quit. I'll just I'll stop breathing. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. That escalated pretty quickly, David. You know what escalates quickly? Elevators. Escalators. Escalators, uh, yeah, it's true. I never think about that. I don't think about escalators very much. Well. We must have had the mall or something. That's fair. Wow. We're just quality, quality podcast.
that soon right now. Yeah, of course. So, Top tier podcast. You know what is quality, in my opinion? What? A couple bands. A couple bands from the 2000s. A couple, like, okay. uh, like maybe 10? You mean like, yeah, you mean like f- five couples? <laughs> you mean like... Yeah, five yeah, couples? Like five pairs of bands that just are really good. You know, mm, really yes. get me going. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. I I think I know what you mean, David. Uh, this actually sounds like it. it was this the top top ten bands of the two thousands list? It seems like it is. Now, again, remember this is all our opinion. <laughs> In our opinion only. Nobody else can share these opinions. It uh, doesn't have to be yours. If you try to have these opinions, we'll copyright you. Yeah, we'll sue. We'll just throw a whole ass YouTube strike on you. You're goddamn right. Nobody else is allowed to have these opinions. No, no they're ours. Make that real clear. No but opinions anyway, for you. Uh, Logan, if you'd like to take it away, either one of you, Logan's. I'll start because I love this band. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> love this band. They didn't ask me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway because it's the truth. They're just the best. Uh, so the first band, uh, once again, these lists are in no particular order. Uh, the first band is the Black Keys. Uh, Logan and I have seen the Black Keys twice now, and it's one of the best concerts that I've ever seen, personally. And uh, I mean, just constantly putting out good music, uh, even when they like went more uh, mainstream, it was still good. But uh, their older stuff's better, in my opinion. Go with band number two, the also. If- Fella band, obviously, from the 2000s, because this is a 2000s list. That's crazy. Whoa. Uh, but anyway, that would be Julian Casablancas and In The Strokes, one of my favorite bands of all time and one of my favorite bands from the top 10, I don't know, top 10 bands of 20,000, of obviously. Course. I'm really butchering this list, but I'm doing it. David's a blues brother right now. Yeah. He's just fully transcended yeah. into a blues brother. He's wearing sunglasses and a fedora. Anyway, back to the Strokes. The Strokes are pretty great. They just dropped their new uh, their new song at the door and Bad Decisions, both of them off their upcoming album that drops April 12th, I believe. Oh. So while we're in quarantine, we'll get that album. So that would be pretty great, That's actually. Great. Um, and... We're still going to be catching the Strokes this year, except Shaky Knees has been rescheduled for October, so we'll be going to see them then instead of this upcoming April. David, do you want to take the next band? Oh, no. Oh, we, can't. <laughs> we lost David we, we again. We lost David again. All right, that's okay. Dave, while David fixes his microphone, we'll move on to the next band. Uh Logan, I'll let you. Hello. Oh, oh, there okay. he is! There he is! There he is! There he is. There I am. So, All right, hold on. David, take number three. Number three, man, is one of the biggest bands for me personally. They really got me through a lot of tough times. My Chemical Romance. They go from like some soft, like emo bullshit to some hardcore emo bullshit, <laughs> and it really touches my heart. Their final album was a punk album. It wasn't really well received back in the day, but I fucking loved it. Fucking great. Hope I still get to see them. Riot Fest. Ridiculously pumped. Yeah, yeah that'll be a good concert. Uh, Logan, would you like to take the next one? Would you like like me to? Oh, Either way, I, I don't care. Next one too. We, oh, well, we, we'll, we'll all do it at the yeah, same time. Okay, right. ready? Number On the count of three. One, one two, two, three. three. The, the White, White Stripes, Stripes is right. number four. Oh, come on, David. We, uh, you know we, we count it down. No, no, no. Stripes at number three. No. No, oh, you. Yeah. F- we should. We we did fuck it up. Fuck you. Off Jack White. God Jack damn it. White's like I'm number four, not number three. We fucked up the holy trinity. Too. Damn. Ah oh, damn. <laughs> all right. No. That's all right. right. It's all right. Back on the Jack boy. So the white stripes, honestly, just the best. Yeah, honestly, They're really like up to like one of the best. Jack White, favorite guitar player. Oh yeah, we, the the white stripes <laughs> may be his best incarnation as well. Mhm. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Just so out there, <laughs> and all just familiar at the same time. Right, it's so 
just great. I love Jack. Fantastic. Well, love that guy. I he, love all of his projects, honestly. Oh, he, me too. He gave Logan his hands back. He did. He, did. he looked me in my eyes. He looked all of us in our he eyes. He looked us in our Or at eyes, least in our very general direction. No, in our eyes, David. I for sure locked eyes with him. Fuck you, Jack White. Looked at me and he was like, I'm I'm staring in your eyes right now. He said it. I, I heard him. So it's confirmed. You, you don't know shit. He, w- he looked at us and he was like, I love you guys. He's, yeah, he just—he—he—he yeah, he, he, he stage dived up to us and was like, yeah. "I love, I fucking love you guys." Yeah. And he he said it exactly like that. Our faces off. He, he jumped, did. He, he shook our hands like we were God. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll take the next one. <laughs> uh, number five, uh, Foo Fighters. I, I mean, boom. I mean, they're great. I like, I love the Foo Fighters. Uh, Dave Grohl. I, I. It was a good move from Nirvana. And I'm glad he did because, I mean, great songs like My Hero and Times Like These. Just overall great band. Yeah, they're one of the bigger, like, well-received rock bands yeah, of, like, the 2000s, you know? For sure, and they're still going at it currently. And just so much talent, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I've never seen a musician break his leg on stage and continue the concert. I did that. Oh shit, that's wow. impressive. My that's leg, hardcore loving. My leg's broken right now. It is. I can confirm. Did you break them on the way over? <laughs> yeah, I broke them. I ran them over. I got mad. I actually walked here. <laughs> it's pretty cold to be walking all the way that way. Fuck you! I use my broken leg for warmth. He was walking in a winter wonderland. <laughs> all right. It is right now, isn't it? Interesting. Well, it is. Uh, what's what's the date anyway? It is March 22nd. 22nd. I said Not it that first. it really matters, I guess. All right. Number six. Who wants to take it? I'll take it. Number six. We have seen this band with our number one band on here, The Black Keys. Modest Mouse is our number six band on this list. Overall, fantastic albums. Some are not as well rated as the others by like some of the fan base, but personally, most of the albums I've listened to, which is I think all of them at this point, are just complete bangers. I'm not a, the biggest fan of their most recent single, honestly, but uh, seeing them live, they're much better live than they are studio, but still, they're just fantastic. Yeah, uh, they put on a really great show. I'd love to see them uh tour with another band or even solo it'd be a good show uh, yeah they're just all around fantastic man oh yeah for sure I, I, I truly enjoy them and uh number seven got gorillas <laughs> now that's a fucking band that changed the whole atmosphere of like modern radio music and like what can be popular you know in my opinion it's like it just came out of nowhere. It was like some like Beastie Boys esque kind of stuff, but like a modern techno take on it with these fictional characters that are actually like real characters. You're a fictional. <laughs> you're a fictional and... real character. Oh damn! Damn. Yeah. That's right. We're all made up. Nothing here matters. That's all fake. We broke the simulation. We yeah, we, we bought too simulation. much toilet paper. It's all coming apart. No. <laughs> it turns out that's. What's it turns out the French was the toilet paper we bought along the way. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. Rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I saw a post on Facebook saying that dying during the middle of a virus, a pandemic, was the most uh, no one to fall in moments ever, and I couldn't yeah, I agree that. more. Yeah, he's like one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to like singers from back in the day. Oh, he's great. It's like him, Tom Jones, uh... A lot of other people. Frank Sinatra. A lot of other people. <clears throat> he will be missed. But you know who else is really great? Who? I'm asking you. Would, oh. it, would, would it be our number eight list? Why, yes. Yes, it would be. Welcome. Would you like to take this? Uh, let me just spell it out for you. M... G M T, which is abbreviated for management for people who don't know, but 
MGMT, fucking fantastic. Some of the trippiest music I've heard, honestly, especially the recent shit where they're like, fuck all of our old pop bullshit. We're going to get like super trippy and just. Which is funny because you listen to a lot of really trippy shit. I, I do. I do. Uh, psychedelic rock is definitely my go to category of music. Uh, it's That's the name what, of our group. Yeah, <laughs> psychedelic mean? metal, bro, for sure. Psychedelic it's metal. <laughs> it's it's more than just a music uh, oh. style. It's a, it's a lifestyle. Oh yeah, MGMT though, fantastic. Their first songs were bangers. Just the kids, electric feel, all that shit. Oh my goodness. But they oh, my hate goodness. Them. Don't ever catch them. You can't listen to them. Ever. <laughs> calm down. Again. Calm down. But they, their new music is fucking fantastic anyway, so it's, I don't mind that they don't really play their old shit. For sure. Alright, David. How about you? Well, I, I love MGMT. They're a real good band. You know what else is a really good band? That if they were ever here in America, I would go to like, follow them right now instead. Arctic Monkeys. They are just one of the best, like... Like modern, quote unquote, punk rock British bands. Ah, I love the Alaskan British primates. The, UK. the Alaskan primates are fantastic. Just uh, Alex Turner and all those collaborations. He does a lot of collabs with a lot of people. Yeah, I've, I've listened to some of them. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I enjoy also, them. Also, shout out to the Fratellis, too, because oh, they're just both great bands. Check them out. Or don't. No. I mean, that's up to you. All right, so we'll go with the final item on this list, uh, Event Sevenfold. Uh, I don't know if you guys have checked them out a lot, but uh, they're pretty good. I enjoy listening to them. Uh, I mean, Hail to the King, great song. Uh, one of their songs was, I believe it was that song, it was used for a uh, Black o- for Origins, the Origins map for Black Ops 2 in the trailer. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, out of all of these bands, that's like the band that I have listened to the least. Yeah, me too, but uh, they're still one of the better bands to come out in the 2000s. Fair enough. And then, again, this is all our opinion. There's lots of other bands that are fantastic from the 2000s that did not make it on this list, but that doesn't mean that they're not good. Yes, it does. <laughs> they're, they're shit. Fuck all of those bands. Oh. Okay, well, everything else that was not mentioned on this list, absolute trash, never listened to it. It just could go. CD, buy it just to throw it in the trash. You're goddamn right. Eat it. Eat their CDs. All right. Well, uh, we'll let Logan go with our next topic because he's the one who actually told us about it. So, two days ago, I believe, the 20th? If it's the 22nd now, so yes, yes, yes. okay. Logan knows math. Yes, I do. Two, two, baby, two, zero. Um, anyway, so the OCs did a, uh, a live studio rehearsal of their upcoming album. I don't know what the name of the album is. It may be released. I'm not entirely sure. I did not look into that. Um, but... I listened to the whole studio rehearsal, and let me say this album is going to be very good. Very good. John Dwyer is fucking fantastic. He gets extra into his groove. You can tell he starts, like, just grooving in with his guitar. And yeah, after years, he loves what he's doing. Oh, absolutely, man. And fucking, uh, he does some weird trippy shit where he pulls the cable out of his guitar and starts rubbing it on the cymbal. And it just makes some, like, Predator-esque, like, weird-ass, trippy sound and shit. Yeah, it's very wild. Very wild. You're wild. I know. <laughs> You're wild child. Wild child. Nope, we'll get copyrighted. Alright. Uh, so, we're gonna go on with a topic that was originally in our second podcast, but... Uh, as I said in the last podcast, there's technical difficulties... Uh, but that topic, uh, being Ty Siegel's latest album, Wasted Shirt, uh, it's very, very strange, and that's very heavy. It and that's saying something for a Ty Siegel album. Uh, definitely the strangest uh Ty uh, stuff, like things that he's putting out that that I've heard. Uh, but it's a good album. Yeah. 
And it's definitely one of the heavier albums that he's put out. Yeah, Logan, what's your uh, opinion on Wasted Shirt? My opinion on the Wasted Shirt album is it's it's ridiculous. It's, that's basically how I can describe it. I'm glad it made like 82, 83 on the charts. Yeah, I think 82. Fantastic. I'm very glad Ty's getting more recognition for his music. He's one of my favorite guitar players, and he definitely deserves it. Um, personally speaking, though, not one of not my favorite album of his, uh, but definitely listen to it still. And there's like three or four songs off there that are complete bangers, and I would definitely see a Wasted Shirt tour or something because I'm sure that would transition onto like the stage fucking crazily, really crazily. Yeah, we got cucked out of. Or Ty Siegel days, so I take literally sad, any sad, Ty nice. Siegel tour, but uh, that's that's just how the world goes. Yeah, we're uh, gonna see him what five times within the span of like a week. Yeah, now we're gonna see him zero times, unless he goes back to shaking knees, which we don't know. You flew too close to the sun, boys. And hey, fuck we- you, David. And now we got bite. Hey, I, I'm cuffed out of all this too, so. Not as much as we are. Cockety cucked. We got cucked. That's how it all goes, boys. Uh, so I mean, castle crumbles. Indeed. So I mean, that's how the cucky crumbles. So obviously. Shut up, Jim Carrey. These these concerts got uh the got canceled because of the coronavirus because we're supposed to be quarantining right now. The cancel virus. It's uh you know the worst part. No, I won't say that because this, I mean, people are dying and that's a terrible thing, but I I don't think it's as serious as people are making it out to be. Uh, I think it's a virus made up by toilet paper companies to get now people to buy a toilet paper. Theory, hey, guy. hey, listen, they're putting stuff in toilet papers that are making people get sick. And making them believe that the only way to solve it is by buying more toilet paper, but it's just getting them sicker. They're putting chemicals in the water. To the <laughs> this is some idiocracy shit. <laughs> now, but we're we're supposed to be quarantining right now, and not a lot of people are. But I mean, David is. That's good. Wait, what? Uh, we're supposed to be quarantining, but nobody really is. Well. You guys kind of are. Dude, think about it. All the people trapped in their houses are going to be fucking. So in nine months from now, there's going to be an outburst of children, and they're going to be called the quarantines. <laughs> Fuck off. Maybe. No, it's going to happen. That's that's a good Hey, Hey, that could be our band name. We are the quarantines. The quarantines. It's probably already been taken because it's too cool of a band name. No, oh, no, fuck you, David. You know what's not a cool band right. name? David. Ooh! Nah. You know David Bowie? That's not David a... David Byrne. It's not a band name. Those are That's his normal David's. name. Those are normal names, David. Dumbass. Yeah, uh, no, Your David. normal name is completely kick-ass. Yeah, nice name, David. But it would not be a good band name. It would be a horrible <laughs> band name. <laughs> this is David coming at you. From hey. EXP. Hey, this no, is L.O. Hello. Hello, I'm That's David with David. Not gonna lie. Hi, uh, I'm David, and we're the Davids. Well, I mean, it would work if I had a bunch of people named David start a band with me. No. Which I do know a few people named David, so no, it don't. could work out. <laughs> 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 Let's see, there's, uh, there's your dad. I did something friend. very <laughs> interesting. I, 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 I'm sure it picked it up. I, I want to hear it. I want to hear it back. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, and, good for uh, you. I don't give a damn. I, I forgot where I, I asked. Start a band. David's. All right. So, It'll outshine the Logan. Hi, I'm David. Hey, fuck Hi, you. I'm David. Hi, I'm David, and we are the Quarantines. <laughs> the Quarantines. David, David, David. The Velveteens, David. bro. The Quarantine <laughs> Dream. Quarantine Dream. It's, no, it's the Quarantine Dream, bro. But, of course. That's going to be our new single. It's like a quarantine dream. Katy Perry song, but <laughs> we're gonna make a Katy Perry song. Nice, dude. Can Katy Perry star on it though? Yes. Katy Perry, can you come on our song? Katy Perry, can you come on our podcast? Oh, 
Oh, I know something that we can talk about. Mr. Blotto did a uh, virtual concert on Tuesday. But what about Katie? What about Katy Perry? Did, can, did, is no. Katy Perry gonna do a digital concert? God, I hope so. I'd All watch right, it. back to Blotto's digital concert because so it it's beautiful. ten times better than any Katy Perry thing ever. It was on St. Patty's Day. They opened with whiskey in a jar. I mean, could it get any better? No, that's pretty good. It could not. I mean, and they put a whole show on, and they were even joking around. They're like, "Oh, well, just imagine that you guys are clapping and wooing right now." Yeah, and stomping their chairs for an encore. They put on an entire show, lights whole, and all, in a warehouse. Whole ass concert just online. That it was crazy. Uh, I'm really liking all these virtual concerts. I think uh, it's a really good idea, and I'm glad that artists yeah, the artists are still time. doing it. Yeah, in the meantime, while we can't actually physically see them. This will yeah. do. So. Story it's an time. amazing thing that uh, social oh, media can cool. do. You know, people cool. never really considered that until... <laughs> Yeah, for Just sure. Now. Yeah, it's it's really a good idea. Lots of bands no, are doing yeah. it. Fucking uh, Willie Nelson, fucking Neil, Neil Young, Young. Uh, Tropadelic, Fuzz Love, which we just watched right before this. Fantastic. They, out. they just jammed out like in a garage or like some spare room yeah, or something. It was like a basement or like, something, yeah, for it's sure. It's a mad fucking licks, man. They, they really can fucking shred uh, and just... I saw an, groovy at the same time. an advertisement for a online virtual uh, festival. I've seen two advertisements for different ones. I've only seen one, but it's still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Wow. An amazing time to be alive, guys. Wow. So it's story time, boys, our favorite. Well, first of all, story for, time. For story story story. time. Did we already talk about GameStop? Yeah. Making a big ass L. That big was the L. first thing we talked about. We are the L, and I'm, welcome to GameStop. I am the L. <laughs> so. They took it. Take, here, take this fat L. Take it. Oh, gotta <laughs> go, guys. I'm being given away. Can you order some big fat L's? So, uh, we're staying open. Do, do you think that they're ever gonna become a company again? Well, I don't know. Like, this that was a little far, you know. Yeah, they're <laughs> already kind of closed, and it's kind of they're kind of on the losing end of history here. Yeah, R rest, they let capitalism get in the way. Rest in peace, GameStop. The I'm gonna go game eat was... GameStop, the whole building right now. Oh, that's fucking You're crazy. The whole company. I'm gonna, CEO, everything. I'm gonna eat you all. Are you Kirby? <laughs> oh. Bitch, I might be. Oh boy. So, first story that I want to talk about. Uh, I we've alluded, we've talked about it before, and that was Hotel Blyle from last year. Uh, but there is a highlight of that lotto that uh may have been one of the best parts of the night. And, uh, yeah, part of the year. Yeah, and uh, that is... It's from a single man, and that man's name being James Herb. Uh, he's Legend. Oh, great. He's he's the best. Uh, we arrived, and people were literally asking us where Logan's mom was so they could get James out of their bathtub because he was so drunk. <clears throat> And he was sleeping in it. Party on James. Party on James. Uh, James eventually found his way to our room. And uh, he was extremely drunk. Quite inebriated, as one can say. Uh, he has the best cover of Monkey Wrench by the Foo Fighters. He also threw a can of beer at Logan's mom. With all, like, the might of Zeus. That, the might. Yeah, well, he didn't mean to do it. The whole thing was that he was going to throw it at somebody else who was standing in that exact spot, but he was just a little delayed. Wait, okay, David, You're to be just fair, a little delayed. the dude had shut the door, and then James was like, wait, and threw it. Yeah, and the, yeah that chick was standing in that spot, and then it was just awkward, and we're waiting for her to just leave. And then she left, and then uh, his mom was in front of the door. And then he throws it, and it hits her. <laughs> it was pretty funny. 
So uh, he, he meant no harm by it. No. But. And it wasn't with the might of Zeus. It was very lazily because he was extremely he drunk. Best. We still love you, James. Uh, then the next morning when we went to go leave, he was passed out on the couch in the hotel room, and uh, we were just oh, yeah. and we were talking. We were like, "Party on, James!" And he threw his arm up in the air. And uh, yeah, we were talking for like half an hour, and then we were just like, "Party on, James!" Just boom, boom, wow. He started know? fucking were you dying. Awake the whole time. And uh, then we went our separate ways. Party on, James. Party on, James, if you're listening to this. Party on. Uh, so yeah, that was a Garth good time. Wayne. Party on, James. Party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, everybody. Party on, dude. Just party on, dude. Everybody go to the party. Have a real good time. You know, I had a really good time at the King Gizzard concert. Oh, that's crazy, because I did too. Whoa. King Gizzard? Last year. I was there too, guys. Well, it's almost as if we're going to talk about our King, Go- our King Gizzard concert next. Holy shit. That's crazy. I'm so excited. I can't speak anymore. Hey, do you guys remember when we showed up and we thought that we were getting like oh, early? Really? We're like, like oh yeah, we're so, we're so early. And it went around the block. There were two blocks worth of people and then they cut the line into two and then we were at the front of the second line. And Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, we didn't go in any sooner than we would have, though. Yeah. We probably went in, like, later than we would have. And I'm very glad that we bought merch early on. Oh, before, yeah. Uh, we got in. we got some of the only posters for Chicago. Yep, absolutely. Doing yep, mine's the directly in front of my face right now. Mine's, yeah. mine's in my room. Mine's... We sh- I fought for those posters, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I killed somebody yeah, for that I mean, poster. Yeah, I, uh... I'm surprised that they lasted during the mosh pit. Yeah, well, they're, mine's a little bit crumpled. Mine, mine's fine. mine is too, but it's, it's war damage. Yeah, we we are. It's got battle damage, man. That makes it cooler. <laughs> I yeah that that may, that was one of the best concerts I've seen. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure. that really was. Uh, the uh, Stonefield and or both opened for Gizzard, and they put on great shows. Yeah, they. They were, oh my god, especially uh, Stonefield in my opinion. Yes, I love Stonefield. I used uh, Sleep as my theme song for a minute in wrestling. Uh, but great show. Uh, Gizzard killed it. L- literally murdered. I've never seen so many people go crazy over one word. Yeah, I remember the very first, uh, the very first song they played. The whole crowd just shifted into... Yeah, to the horrible left. anarchy mode. Yeah, it, the whole crowd was just a mosh pit. Yeah, absolutely. Bam, bam. What are they over with Planet B? Jesus. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, I can't wait to see them in October at Shaky Knees and uh, Radius. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I I just it's stuck in my head because they came out and they were in compliance. All they were paying attention to was getting ready, and then they all got set up finally, and then you just heard. And everyone started going crazy. And uh, then everybody's like, holy shit. <laughs> they had the the rat's nest thrown, like, fucking in the background on projector and shit. Yeah, for sure. It was crazy, fucking, yeah, it was aggressive wild. lighting. Yes, it, Amazing they show. killed it. You know, what was, you know what was another crazy show, David? Yeah. Ski Mask. Yeah, that even... In terms of aggressiveness, Ski Mask even trumps uh, in Gizzard. Yeah, for real. That was wild, dude. It was, I was not expecting that. And that was Matthew's first concert. Yeah, that was like, uh, ever. <laughs> I'm sure that was a very interesting experience. I mean, afterwards, he went and saw Post Malone like in seats and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, he knows the two extremes now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I I feel like Ski Mask was just crazy, though. That was probably like... That was some of the craziest shit. Yeah, that was... The whole fucking crowd just turned into a ball of mosh. It was, like, unstoppable. Yeah, they were like, y'all need to calm down. You were in or you were out. There was nothing else. Yeah, uh... They were the second craziest show I've ever been to. The OCs being the craziest, because they were also just killer moshes, dude, for real. It's just... Hey, guys, you know what we should do? What? Mosh? Instead of going to shows as the Blues Brothers, we should go to shows as, like, the Mosh Police and make sure people <laughs> don't get hurt moshing. Yes. Because, you know, there was some No, ma'am, we're not mask. musicians. We are police. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. was some dude that, like, he was, like, a, a mock-up, like, 
security guy, but he wasn't actually. He was just like, he had this thing that was like mosh, like mosh patrol or some shit like that. And he was like, he's the one that broke the pit open. And I'm like, yes, finally somebody broke the pit open, man. David, and that shit went crazy. And I'm gonna patrol dude, your mosh. Oh, yeah. Like base drop. Yeah, it was, that was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that was straight ridiculous. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have my phone out because it would have been gone after that moment. Yeah, Everybody for sure. Went crazy. Everyone just. That backflip dude just. He just hyped everybody up. And then they all just ran at him. <laughs> They're like, go. I loved it. Yeah, backflip. It, it was a great time. Oh, no. David, stop. Jesus. All right. Uh, so, this next story, it's our final story. It's actually a. Uh, this is a story from Myron Logan's middle school. Uh, it's maybe one of the wildest things that happened just because of who it is that said it uh, but one day I was just sitting in class and this kid started bullying me and he told me to go drink bleach so at lunch I was talking to Logan about it and he's like let's go tell our assistant principal so I was like okay I'll do that obviously the right decision Right, because I was, I literally, that's just like telling someone to go kill themselves. Because, I mean, that's, people kill themselves that way. Uh, so, we did. We walked up to the assistant principal at the middle school. And I was like, hey, I was told to go drink bleach. In the principal's response, it's, it's wild, right? Uh, he goes, uh, well, what if I told you to go drink water? And I'd be like, what? It's the same thing, don't you know? Yeah, he told me drinking water is the same thing as drinking bleach because they both erode. So if I drank, so being told to go drink bleach is like being told to go drink water. It's not only yeah, like it, sense. it's the same exact thing. Uh, he, it amazes me that he was ever a teacher. He, oh, okay, this is the, this guy also asked me, I was in the the library checking out a book, and he goes, if we were in a fight, and I put you in a submission, would you pass out or tap out? And I was like, I, I, uh, pass out? And he was like, why? And I was like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't be asking kids that question. He was also Hydrochloric in- liquid. Hydrochloric acid is a liquid space water. You want to know what else? You want to know what else is a liquid? Fucking molten magma. Why don't you drink some of that? You know what? Actually, technically, it's a solid. Hey, fuck you, liquid. David. Shut the fuck uh, up. Shut the like, get off. Technical. Get off the fucking Discord, Paul. <laughs> oh, this is not Discord. I'm right next to you. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh shit! You just. Blew my mind. Oh, guys, yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Fantastic Planet. Oh, oh my goodness! It's a very interesting movie. Very. Yeah, I, bought, I I rented that shit this week and we watched it. It was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's like this weird futuristic society, and like they're they've achieved like a higher consciousness. Mind of orbs. Human beings as pets. I saw mind orbs. They're like. Remember when they're all just transcending in that room and then their daughter walks in on them and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> they're like, we're not doing anything. We're just meditating. They're like melding together into one thing. <laughs> oh, it's That's crazy. It's not what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> Jesus. What a movie. It's like some Avatar tail sex shit. <laughs> Yeah, but it was 1973. Imagine seeing that shit in 1973. For sure. Just be like, what the fuck? Why? Having your mind completely blown. Uh, I'm gonna blow your mind. Call me Courtney Love. Okay, Courtney Love. See your mind is blown. Boom! Whoa. You just blew my mind, dude. I know, because I'm Courtney Love. Get it? That's, <laughs> that, that's a joke because she killed Kurt Cobain. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Show me the Carfax. Yeah, show me show Carfax. Me Full disclosure, I do think that she did 
have something to do with things. Oh, you know, so. I think so too. But that's a long dead debate. Just like Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain <laughs> is yeah. None of that. None of that. That guy's shredding aggressively. I'm gonna shred you aggressively. I'm gonna shred. It's the guy from Alabaster. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna shred your face off. Why is he oh, shredding is he, so aggressively? Is he doing like a live podcast right now? Too? No, he was just, no, he just posted a video on Facebook of him shredding. I'm gonna shred you. On Stop! Facebook. Calm down. You're you, you're saying you're going. Is this you're the, the wall? Yelling. Is this the wall? No. I'm, I'm grind me up in a meat grinder. No, I'm the Hunter S. Thompson lady. If you take acid, I'm gonna shred your face off. No, his girlfriend. Damn. Hunter, why would you take acid? Hunter S. Hunter Thompson. Acid Thompson. Ooh, ooh. Suit, suit, suit. Oh boy. Oh my god. Are they eating her? <laughs> Are they gonna eat me next? Oh no. Oh my god. Look what I just sent to you. On what? On Discord. <laughs> How is your guys' quarantines holding up? Oh, I'm <laughs> fine, man. Oh, nice, David. Yeah, fantastic planet, man. It, it, <laughs> it's not just nice, it's fantastic planet. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> fantastic planet woman. Oh! Am I right? More like, oh, snap. more like shitty moon woman. Oh! What's good? Got him twice. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with all this right now. I'm just doing what I normally do, but... I keep thinking in the back of my head, oh shit, I've got to do stuff. But then I'm like, wait a minute, I don't got to do shit right now. Yeah. So I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just chilling. I've got a lot of, like, beer and stuff. But I haven't really been drinking it all that much. A couple other things. I literally was the dude. Today I went to the store as the dude. Got some, <laughs> uh, Kahlua uh, and cream to make some white Russians. And I practiced saxophone for a little bit. Nice. The sexy sax. Like two whole songs. What song? Two whole songs. Yeah, but which ones? Um, Three Blind Mice, also known as Frostbutt. And the keyboard cat song. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Uh, it's a start, man. Yeah, yeah, it's something, for sure. I've been practicing my guitar. I've been practicing my bass guitar. Guitar, guitar, Gu guitar. So we need a drummer then. That's have a quest one. for the drummer. Yeah, we already have one, really. We just need him to come over. See, I say that like I know something, but like I'm working on saxophone, man. I'm going to get there. I'm going to be like known as the, that dude who plays the saxophone. <laughs> hey, it's that dude that plays the saxophone. It's, 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 Look at that guy. It's him and his fucking sax again. Man, that guy has a nice sex. The sexy sex. He's the sex man. Oh, yes. So, what should we talk about next, boys? How is everybody doing on this lovely... We should talk about sex evasion. I'm just... <laughs> sex evasion? Why do people not like sex? David, have you filed your sexes? I have filed my sexes. Good. Me do it. No, I'm gonna click you. No, you won't. Damn it! I just got clicked. Click, 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 Elodian. So, guys, what if we're all just a simulation? <laughs> nah, as somebody I, said that. Who? Oh, I remember. As Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell said, the robots are forcing us all into our homes so they can start their global takeover. The robots. They'll do it. You watch any of those Boston Dynamics things? Oh yeah, absolutely. Where they beat the shit out of robots and the robots... Yeah, the robots like jump up and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's like, whoa, why do we have that technology? And Japan's actually considering making a Gundam. Oh boy. That's yeah. how it be sometimes. What a time to be alive, man. Indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you... I'm gonna build us a home. I'm gonna make you a man. Shut up. 
Okay. I'm gonna stab you in the head. That escalated very quickly. Very. I'm scared. You calm it down. So, is there any yourself? music that you guys uh, want to recommend? Fuzz Love. <laughs> Fuzz Love always. Every single every podcast. podcast. Really our intro music. <laughs> they are that. They are that. They are. They're totally like, yeah, that. that's fine. <laughs> Love them. Love them. I'd like to shout out the doors. Yeah, the doors. Shout listen, out the doors. Listen to the doors if you haven't listened to the doors. They're the best. And if you if you have listened to the doors, listen, listen to, to them again. again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just you know what? Don't, All of the doors. Don't stop listening to the doors. Keep them going all night long. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Grateful Dead as of late. Yeah, me too. Personally, I uh, there's just a couple songs that really. Me. David, have you uh been down on Shakedown Street? Uh, I have not been down Shakedown Street, but Heather has. Are you the heart of the town? I actually am, though. But not on Shakedown Street. Oh. It's a dangerous place. <laughs> oh, no. I don't go to you. Maybe you had too much too fast. I did have too much too fast, but it was on Bourbon Street. Maybe you had too much too fast. Street. No, no. Maybe I had too much too fast. Maybe you had too much too fast. Maybe Stop. Too much too fast. You know you got such dark eyes. <laughs> you know you have such dark eyes. Well. Yeah. That's you know, a great fucking song. You know what? You know what? Have you guys been playing any video games on this quarantine? You know I just bought Black you know Ops 3 today. Oh yeah, dude, we used to be the shit at that game, especially me. I would I beat been the fuck out of people with the melee weapons in that. My goodness, I'm I had dark matter shit. and shit, you knew. I'm you gonna know. play the shit out of it over this quarantine. Uh, you guys play that, uh, new thing at all? War free Field or whatever? Yeah. I haven't even heard of that, to Warzone. be completely honest. It's alright. It's just, what is it? Um... It's Fortnite. It's Call of Duty Fortnite, yeah. Oh, you told me about it. Yeah, I remember you telling me about it. A bunch of people were like, David, we gotta play this. But I'm like, eh. It's alright. Yeah, I redownloaded. I've been playing the lamest shit. <laughs> I feel ya. I, I redownloaded some games since I've been at my house. I, uh. Like Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, I downloaded Hitman, uh, Subnautica, and Plants vs. Zombies. I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies nonstop for like a day now, dude. I'm almost it's done. It's a great game. Oh, it's so it's good. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's just so peaceful. Even if you're not into video games, it's a fun little time killer, and it's really easy to play. Oh, it's so easy to play. I love it. I'm too good at it, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm too good. Yeah, man. And it's like, uh, I, I, I've personally been playing uh, Civilization. I don't know if you've ever played any of those, like, grand strategy games. Yeah, I have. Like, it's just fun sometimes. Like, I don't know. It just gets really complicated towards the end, like... There's, I've got like two continents, and I'm uh, playing as Japan. I just did like a random thing, and uh, I have most of the first continent, but the second continent, like Germany and Russia, are basically fighting over this huge landmass. And I'm like, whoever wins is gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you are it's a getting huge rough out there. <laughs> Ooh, get right. It's the year. It's like the year 2020 something. I've yeah. been playing Rainbow personally. Rambo's pretty good. I haven't been playing it. Uh, I I got the season pass for this season though, so I mean I should. I want the season pass. I just don't have money. I, I mean I'll play Rainbow again. Do it. Get it, Rainbow. Get the Rainbow. I found it the other day. You found a Rainbow? It nice. was in one of my bags. I think I like brought it with my PS4 one time and just forgot it was in there. That's how it be sometimes, I guess. I guess so. I had to get a new but, headset. Uh, I also re-downloaded Minecraft to my computer. Minecraft's pretty fun, dude. It is pretty fucking fun. Even after all these years, they just keep adding stuff. Amazing, amazing. What they do. Minecraft. 10 out of 10. The best game of the decade. Just kidding. So, how's life, it's boys? Huh? How's life? Boys. How's life? Well, you know, it's fine. I'm living. I'm living it up. You gotta I'm just get chilling and, uh... Busy living or busy dying. I got a new yeah. light and a new poster and another new poster and a heater and a new... 
Tommy gun. I got a tattoo. You got yeah. it. Yeah. No, a Tommy gun. I was just quoting Jim Carrey from The Mask. Stop quoting Jim Carrey. Don't tell me to stop quoting Jim Carrey. Stop quoting yeah, Jim, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is pretty great. Except when in real life. He's Except when he's not. Life. Jim Carrey is crazy good. <laughs> he's just crazy. He is. You can't deny that. I enjoy Jim Carrey. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I got this new party light for my room. I don't know if you saw it, David. Is it party every time? Party all the time? Party. Every but time. it's 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 pretty great. It changes lights. Is and then like I'm gonna the get one? those LED strips that uh are the black light strips that Jacob has. I'm gonna get some of those, and then the LED ones that Matt has. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some, gonna get some of both of those, so I can have those You're react have to music. Yeah, it's gonna be a rave. If I'm if I'm gonna be locked in my room for like a month, I might as well be throwing a party in there with myself. But yeah, dude, it's gonna be great. I'll 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 buy a new light bulb for my lava lamp too. Don't test me. Do it, bitch. Bet you won't. I got a new Big Lebowski poster and a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood poster too. It's pretty sick. One's above my bed, and one's in my closet. One's like an actual. Yeah, the like, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood one is cool because. Uh, it's a it's, yeah, it's an actual. actual yeah, I was about to say the same thing. So, can we talk about the greatest movie of all time, real quick? Monster House, dude. That's pretty good. I still got it. That's not my favorite movie of all time, but that's a pretty good movie. You know, it's the best movie of all time. All of them, all other movies are garbage. Nah, dude. Yes, Willy Wonka is the best movie of all time. Mm. You know, Logan, you've convinced me otherwise. <laughs> Kung Pao is the best movie of all Guys, time. Guys, no, it's it's obviously Sergeant Pepper is the only hard squad band. I disagree. Starring Peter Frampton in the. Be- BG. Peter Frampton fucking kills Steven Tyler. Yeah, but Steven Tyler kills his girlfriend. Well, you know what? It's fair then. But, it's fair. but then she comes back to life at the end. But how, how are you just going to kill Steven Tyler like that? Like this. Ah! <laughs> he's, 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 looks like a lady. Dude looks like a lady. On American Idol, he dressed up as a lady and went out and performed. And, and killed <laughs> Peter Frampton. <laughs> he brought out a straight ray up gun murder. and shot Peter yeah, Frampton. Yeah, straight up murder. Take that, Frampton. Get your Peter's Frampton. Get, I just Peter your Framptons. You're gonna get your Tyler Steven. Steven, your Tyler. I'm gonna smith your arrow, bitch. Whoa, bro, you need to calm the hell down. You scared the shit out of me. Maybe you need Literally, to calm the hell down. Literally, it smells bad. I'm not even there. Yeah, I need to go buy like 18 rolls of toilet paper now. Not rolls, 18 fucking packages. It's a lot of paper. (laughs) 18 individual rolls. Yeah, I just need 18. 18 individual rolls. (laughs) Exactly 18. Give me 18, I'll give me death. It'll last me years. (laughs) All I need is 18. Just give me 18 rolls. 18 and I'm set for life on toilet paper. I'll just roll myself up like a mummy and then die. Impressive. Yeah, that's how you use all that. That's mm-hmm. how you use all that. That's how I will use all that because I'm gonna become a happens. mummy. Yeah, dude. With all this, with all this toilet paper being bought, if anything, this ain't gonna be a zombie virus. It's gonna be a mummy virus. And the mummy. Why would you need so much toilet paper? Let me ask. Why you. wouldn't you? Cause you need to build like a toilet paper fort sometimes <laughs> when you're in quarantine. I mean, I guess. That's yeah. They, it, it's not to use it. It's they're like, oh shit, we're gonna be in quarantine. We need to build a giant toilet paper fort in our house. We gotta have something to do. We'll make toilet paper forts. Genius. No, they're gonna dude. The, there's gonna be a giant TP war after all this breaks down. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, imagine TP in people's houses right now. They'd be like, oh my god, what a waste. Uh. They'd also be like, it's a gift from the gods. A gift from the gods. Yeah. Fucking Zeus himself threw down some paper towels, They're like in in the, the lightning bolt style. <laughs> what an amazing time to be alive. Yep. Where the Greek gods are coming back to give us toilet paper. <laughs> it's it's there should be a Greek god of toilet paper. It me? I'm the toilet paper mm-hmm. Greek god. Oh Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> that scared me. You're, I, uh, are you thinking of a god name for me? Toiletitis. Toiletitis? You're, you're Tpcius. Tpcius! Yes. Oh man, you're gonna get killed. It's like 
Like Kratos. Yeah, I was about to say it's like TPCS. Uh, TPCS. I am the Greek god of toilet paper. Of paper. Of stupid. Paper stupid of paper. the toilet variety. <laughs> but you know what? We got that though. Dude. You know what? We got stupid ideas here on the podcast. You're a stupid idea. Oh shit! Oh, snap, what? He just roasted your ass. Get fucked. I'm gonna roast your ass. Nope. Dude, that's kind Over of... Over an open fire. I'm gonna roast your ass and put you in like a fucking crock pot or something. Oh, shit. I don't know why I turned into like Elvis when I said crock pot or something. You are like the Elvis. Oh, oh, I'm gonna put you in a crock pot or something. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gonna put you in a crock pot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Little little put fact, you... he ate bath salts. Yeah, you know it, the peanut butter bacon sandwiches were not his favorite thing. Bath it, salts. it was actually bath salts and human flesh. Yeah. He didn't die on a toilet. He died eating people, and they just they had to, they had to cover it up. Elvis Elvis was eating people, and I'm gonna and I I ate Elvis. <laughs> Well, on that note, I think we're going to call an end to this podcast number three. Uh, no. Yes. I don't say it's so. I know, it's sad times here at the Yell Square. No, podcast. say it ain't yeah, so. Podcast. Turn the lights off. How do you say it? Go. Did we even talk about that? What? About the fact that this is our third podcast. It yeah. would have been our fourth. Yeah, David, we don't, you're really behind. We already done discussed that. It's already been solved. You know, David, that's it. David, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm Who the fuck are you? Goodbye.